Hi, and welcome to today's video where I'm going to show you how to install and download Keybase from Martinic. First, you head onto their webpage, martinic.com, and then you press products. You then scroll down until you find Keybase and you click that. You can read more about the plugin here and the features, or you can go ahead and just download the free trial. In this case, we're using a MacBook, so we're going with the Mac option. Save the file. And then you're also going to want to have the license. So you just click here, order now. Then you enter your email and your name. And agree with FastSpring's term of service and place your order. Then you click download now and save. Once we have downloaded the files, we open up the download folder and we make sure that we have both the license and the Martini Keybase installation file in the same folder. Then we double click the DMG and you should get a small little window like this. Just click the package file and you're gonna start installing Keybase. Uh, you click continue, continue, continue and accept. Here's the important part. You need to press this little box license key and then continue and then install use your fingerprint or password when the installation is done you might have to restart your pc and that's fine you can come back to the video after you've re restarted your pc when we've when we're done installing we can just open up logic pro x and we're gonna create an empty project. In this case, a software instrument. And then we go to instrument. We go down to AU instruments, find Martinic, and then Keybase. Here we have the plugin and it works. Pretty cool. So here you have a little bit about the MIDI learn. And if we wanna assign any one of these buttons to our MIDI keyboard so we can control it with the MIDI keyboard instead of having to press inside the plugin with our mouse, we can just press this button up here. This is the MIDI learn button. And then you press the button you wanna be able to change and it's gonna make it red. And then you press a button on your MIDI keyboard and boom, now you can change this with the MIDI controller itself. And you can just do it on the fly as you go and play pretty cool and then we also have some settings which you can go in here and check moly poly midi mono for the midi you can change a bunch of stuff here too uh, just play around and see if you can find something that works for you uh, and then we also have a bunch of presets and an easy way to see the presets is to click up here and then go to factory presets and here you have a better overview over all of the presets but you can also just click the right arrow and that's gonna cycle through the different presets that you have. Pretty cool. Um, and then we also have a, a Lem Echo Music. It's an Echo plugin, super cool. Works very well with the key base. And uh, you have some settings here that you can change around to make to change how it sounds. And then you have a few settings also. Uh, and the same goes here. If you want to see the presets, you can go here and then you get a list. Or you can just press the right arrow until you find something that you like. I personally like the dirty tape preset. I think it sounds amazing. Pretty cool. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching the video.